Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see us Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Play Minecraft episode Here on the SMP server uh, oh crap, it's nighttime. Okay, so I'll make this quick. Um, I've decided I need to move my storage. So I've started putting up some chests over here. Um, we're pretty much going to move just this whole storage, everything over here. Um, get it a little bit organized. Not too organized, um, but organized enough so that it might actually uh, um, be functional still. <laughs> And then uh, it's time we started working on the first of the uh, the projects, the first of the internal projects. So the very first thing we're going to work on is the squid farm. That was the whole reason I wanted to find a desert was so that I could make a squid farm. And unfortunately, uh, you can't really tell from here, but in every direction there's water. So somehow we managed to get surrounded by water. Uh, not the best planned um, sort of uh, sort of layout, but uh, it should be fine. So. The um, dimensions on this are uh, from the wall to the middle, uh, right there where that pillar is, that thing. Um, it's about 100 blocks. So the center of this is going to be the ideal location. Um, so dead center, this will be where all the things are. And then I've got this marked out. So each one of these little uh, red things is about 25 blocks away. So as you can see, it's like 25, 50, 75, and the, the wall itself is 100. So yeah, um, I don't know if I'm going to do some kind of like concentric rings or anything like that, but for now, um, my biggest issue, my biggest problem with uh, construction is the fact that all this stuff, I have all of these things here, so there's that. Um, the tree farm is working well. Um, well, I say well, it's working. <laughs> it's giving me wood. But uh, for now, I'm just going to have to kind of do this little, uh, this little deal right here, grab a bunch of sand, and run it over to the other side. So I think... To save me some running back and forth trips, uh, I need to go track down some of my shoulder boxes and uh, get this project kind of started. I mean, obviously, this would be a lot faster if it was, uh, you know, more more than just me, but this is fine. And then I think I also want to make some tripwire hooks and burn a bunch more chests, probably. If I'm going to do that, I might want to change this. Um, no, this is fine for now. So yeah, so this is going to be um, probably, this side will be sand, this side will be sandstone, and then over here in this little uh, divot area, I'll probably do just uh, pretty much everything else. Um, I need to throw some torches down. I don't want mobs spawning over here while I am coming and going. So yeah, so that's where I'm at. Uh, it's going to be pretty boring. It's going to be quite a uh, time-consuming process. But uh, we should be able to get this going on. And, of course, now we have mob spawning. So I'm going to sleep. I'm going to get to moving stuff. And I'll be back in a bit. All right. So there we go. Uh, I've got the last batch of sand on me. Um, this is excruciating. I hate it. This is really, like, the worst thing ever. Um, just transporting sand 100 blocks away. But it uh, doesn't seem like it would be that bad. It's just the quantity. There's so much sand. Ugh, gosh. Okay, so uh, these five double chests are full. These five double chests are full. The empty, empty. Uh, we'll say that that's almost full. Uh, and then full and full. So obviously there is a lot. I mean, like kind of a ridiculous amount of sand that we have. <laughs> kind of acquired um, and I think I figured out sort of the fastest uh, transportation method for blocks and it is hopefully you have them in a regular chest and if you do then you just break the chest and you put them in shulker boxes and uh, it's not um, the best um, kind of system but it's functional uh, it's working and I've also discovered that I tend to mess up uh, a few blocks per double chest. Um, so, like, I found a bunch of sandstone mixed in with the sand um, from where I was just breaking and moving and breaking and moving and moving and breaking and breaking and moving. And, God, this is horrible. It's so repetitive. It's just mind-numbing. Um, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to say that we're basically done with the sand at this point. Uh, I probably have a little bit more sand in some of the shulker boxes. There it is. Okay. So that is it. This is the last of the sand. 
All right, next up, uh, sandstone. Um, but I think I'm actually going to call it a day. So I might stop recording here, pick it up tomorrow. So that's a whole like uh, uh, interim thing that you won't see. So hooray for that. Cool. All right, so now these, how many is that? 5, 10, 15. These 15 are full of sand. These 15 will be full of sandstone, which I have a ton over here. And I've already started placing in, actually I can do probably some more of these right now. Uh, so we'll just do there and there, and then we'll skip just one. And we'll do like that, and then double here. And we'll go three tall. And then skip one, double there, like that. There we go. All right, perfect. This will be where I put all the kind of miscellaneous random crap um, so then we'll have sand, 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 and then might as well, we'll just make this more sand. And then uh, these 15 will be sandstone. And then I think probably right here, we'll put all the sandstone variants. Um, the slab, stairs, polished, all those different things. Uh, cool. All right. Well, I think the plan is well underway. So uh, I've got a little bit more. Well, a little. I've got a ton of more moving to do. And then uh, we should be done ish or so, maybe. Let's see. Yes, all of the sandstone. So if we just put this here, this here, that there, and then this one can go. Uh, we'll put it right there. Then, uh, yeah, this is pretty much the, uh, the way that I'm moving it. I'm just going break, break, and break break and then explosions everywhere and then I just go here double click double click and now that's full into the next one and double click double click oh look at that that's full now pick up a bunch more yep so this is pretty much my uh, my life right now just moving all the sandstone moving all the stone all the bricks all the blocks <sighs> all right I'll see you guys later All right, so uh, it is now the next day, and uh, a lot of stuff has been accomplished. So I'm down to the last two chests, and I've started uh, tearing out the floor. So I think the next thing I really need to do is figure out exactly the size of this. So this area right here is going to be the uh, the squid farm. Uh, let me just grab a piece of sand. Uh, that should be fine. And then, okay. Okay. So right about here, this will be the uh, the center, and then I believe we'll probably do alternating um, sort of uh, dispensers, kind of like, hey, move. Oh yeah, and uh, Raven came by and uh, dropped off some stuff, and uh, she gave me a bunch of redstone block, which is pretty much perfect because I'm gonna need redstone and I don't really have that much. And, uh, oh, she's happy I'm feeling better. And she also dropped off a bunch of friends. So now we have uh, some iron golems kind of managing our spawn rates or something. Um, yeah, but I think what I'm going to do is, I don't know how big I want to make it. Um, I'm thinking probably pretty small. Um, it doesn't need to be massive. Uh, it'll always be running when we have it turned on. So that'll be pretty okay. Um... But yeah, so I'm thinking maybe, uh, maybe it's something like that. Uh, obviously, I got to place these in the correct orientation and stuff. But is that going to be enough? Five, or do I want to go seven? I could just do seven, seven by seven. So I'll need forty-nine dispensers. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll do a seven by seven pattern, just like that. Yeah, that's fine. And then that leaves a nice little uh, area kind of around the side. All right, cool. So now we have this planned out. So let me take you guys on over and show you the uh, uh, the new temporary base that we built. Where is it? Uh, over there. There it is. Okay. So let's just run over here real quick. Um, I managed to move everything. I've got doors up. I don't have glass. So maybe we'll smelt some glass up real quick. I can always use glass. I'll just do like a quick stack. All right, um, I think for, yeah, where's the coal at? I've got some coal somewhere. Not there. Uh, where is it? Hmm. I'm not, I'm not 100% organized just yet. Um, coal? Oh, maybe it's in here. A hey, seven. 
that's definitely not enough, but whatever. So I have to get started. All right, let me just grab, where's my excess sand? There we go. Um, yeah, we'll start two stacks, maybe. Two should be enough. Okay, and then I'll find the rest of the coal. All right, so yeah, so this is the uh, the little new temporary base area. Uh, nothing super fancy. Uh, I want to put glass in along the edges there, and then once uh, once we get this um, sort of uh, project all finished, then we'll be able to uh, to move on. But I think for today, what I would like to do is get the area that I'm going to be using sort of hollowed out, and uh, with any luck, we can get at least the uh, the hoppers in place. Uh, I'm not going to do all of the redstone stuff today, but uh, we can at least kind of get it started. So. Um, I gotta figure out the levels and things, and then the excavation we can do not today. All right, sweet. Let me uh, let me get everything figured out, and I'll be right back. All right, so there we go. We've got the uh, the very basic framework set in. Uh, this is gonna be the overall size of the entire sort of uh, build, and uh, yeah, I think it should work. Oh, that's sand. Uh, it should work out with uh, with no real uh, issues. So I think uh, the uh, the only other real thing we have to do today is get the rest of these uh, uh, dispensers in place, of which I already have enough uh, made, thankfully, because uh, I came prepared and brought all of my redstone bits with me. So we should be able to get these 49 or so um, uh, dispensers put in place. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the uh, the beginning phase, the opening stage, the uh, initial design. And now that I'm really looking at this, this is going to be pretty big. I mean, having 49 water streams should be way, way more than uh, than anyone needs as far as the uh, the amount of squid this thing will spawn. So yeah, we should be in, in really like uh, really good shape. I think I feel like that should be uh, a thing. So all right, cool. Um, next up would be redstone, and then I need to figure out. Do I? If you guys have watched this uh, this series or my previous series for any length of time, uh, I did one of these in a uh, previous episode, uh, different se different season, I guess. And I had it so that I could turn it on and off from below and from at this level. So that way I could um, really have a lot of freedom and control. Um, the issue is going to be, where do I want the on switch to be? So I think that's the first thing we need to figure out. Um, the main entrance seems like the obvious choice. So what I'm thinking is... This will be kind of the, this is the main entrance to the, to the entire complex. So this would be kind of the, uh, I think probably the best location really, um, on this side. Hmm. Maybe we want it off to the side though. Um, hmm. Don't really know. All right. Well, I think that's something for next episode because for now, I think I'm going to end it here. So I do want to thank you guys a bunch for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. The, uh, the server contest, I think almost everyone has voted. I'm just waiting on the last couple of people. So uh, we should have, hopefully, the, uh, the final uh, count and the, uh, the results coming up. Uh, I don't want to put a lot of pressure on myself or anyone else. I'm still getting over being sick. So I'm going to say that we should have the results out by the weekend. Um, so stick around or check that out when that comes out. Otherwise, guys, have a great day. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.